So Newsmax, and I believe One American News Network as well, although I don't have the numbers for that one, but Newsmax has imploded. So take a look at this from CNN Business. They say Newsmax TV gained a lot of attention last fall when disaffected Fox News fans flocked to the to the channel uh, in mass in mass. I don't know the right way to pronounce that. For the first time in Fox's 24 year history, it had a real and measurable 24 seven competition from the right, and that's still true. But Newsmax's Nielsen ratings are way off their post election highs. By one measure, comparing Newsmax peak week in mid November to a low point at the end of February, Newsmax's audience has lost more than half its audience. Marissa Sarnoff wrote for Mediaite last week. A Newsmax representative said those figures were misleading and noted that all cable news viewership has declined since the election. That's true. News ratings rise and fall like tides. But what Newsmax has experienced... But what Newsmax experienced was more like a flash flood followed by a dry spell. As political media critic Jack Schaefer recently commented on Twitter, the story is not just the decline of Newsmax, but its wild spike and subsequent decline. So, let me give you some hardcore numbers. Fox News gets about 1.5 million views. Um, and there was a time when Newsmax was really nipping at their heels, and they would get over a million views at the same time Fox was getting 1.5 million views. Um, in fact, there was, there was a few instances where Newsmax beat Fox. However, now their viewership is about 150 or 175,000. So Newsmax, 150, 175,000. Fox News, about 1.5 million. So, in other words, they totally imploded. Now, why? Why is that the case? Because it was a sugar high. That's all it was. It was fake. So, Fox News called the election for Joe Biden at a reasonable time to call the election for Joe Biden. And Newsmax refused. And they went all in on the Stop the Steal stuff. They went all in on fraudulent election stuff. And so, they were telling far-right audiences what they wanted to hear and giving them false hope. The problem with false hope is that it's false. And when Joe Biden became president got sworn in, and had been in office for weeks, for a lot of those people, a lot of the Stop the Steal people, a lot of the Q people, they had a light bulb moment. And they realized they'd been had. And Fox News, they didn't like Fox News when they were telling them the truth about Biden. Because they didn't think it was the truth. But when it became clear it actually was the truth, the people who fled Fox News to go to Newsmax went right back to Fox. I actually think there's a there's a positive story to take away from this. And the positive story is tiny little tricks and gimmicks generally don't work. They generally don't work. Um, and in the long run, you probably get rewarded for telling the truth. Now, it, unfortunately, it's a slightly different situation for new media and independent media because we get suppressed by a YouTube algorithm. So it's, it's slightly different. But... Um, it actually is. It, I would rather have people listen to Fox News propaganda than Newsmax or One America News Network propaganda because as bad as Fox is, they're not as bad as One America News Network or Newsmax. I mean, they thought they found a cheap shortcut to getting viewers and to hold that audience, but they couldn't hold that audience. And because what happened after the whole Stop the Steal thing imploded? What happened? Greg Kelly, their lead guy at like 7 o'clock, was out there critiquing Biden's dog and saying Biden's dog doesn't look presidential. So, that the other thing is they're just so, they're not ideological. And it's harder to be consistent when you don't really believe in anything. Now, I think Fox News believes in stuff, but they're wrong. They have stuff they believe in, but they're wrong. In the case of Newsmax, I just don't think they believe in anything. There's no core, there's no ideology. And I've pointed this out a number of times, but isn't it interesting? When somebody talks about building a network or an outlet to the left of MSNBC, what they mean is, I want somebody who's focused more on policy and is willing to fight for that policy, and people who are more substantive and will even hold my team, the Democrats, accountable. That's what somebody means when they say, let's create an outlet to the left of MSNBC. When somebody says, let's create an outlet to the right of Fox News, what they mean is, give me somebody who's even more sycophantic to Donald Trump. Give me somebody who has no principles, no policy beliefs, no substance, but we'll play defense for daddy all day long. And that's exactly what Newsmax and One American News Network was. But it was a cheap sugar high. It wasn't sustainable. Because what happens when Trump is gone? Even in a best case scenario for these people, Trump is still going to be gone for four years, right? Maybe he could run in 2024, maybe win, but he's going to be gone for at least four years. So what are you going to do in that time frame? Talk about stop the steal the whole time? Can't do that, right? So what are you going to do? Ah, I guess we'll just talk about Biden's dog. Because they have nothing to say about policy.
So all day it'll be cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture, cancel culture, and Biden's dog is ugly and unpresidential. Okay, well, uh, look at what happened. Look what happened. Your viewership totally imploded. And even though Fox News took that short-term hit when they said, yeah, Biden won, viewers came back. Because Biden did win, didn't he? So, there you have it. Um, they're even worse than, like, than, like, right-wing YouTube channels. You know what I mean? Like, I do think Newsmax and One American News Network are almost, like, uniquely terrible in how vapid they are, how dumb they are, how much they believe in nothing, how tribal they are. So, um, they're really getting what they deserve. That's for sure.